United States, but um, but it, but I feel you know like this is pretty familiar territory. People are really nice. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, uh, you know we, the strategy in terms of running for president. You meant you already mentioned you said you didn't ha you didn't have high yep. recognition. Yep. So that strategy is to. Get on the ground here. Get, get on the ground here in Iowa and just put one foot in front of the other and I believe that kind of work is rewarded. It's not always rewarded, but there are, there are many examples of somebody who is one and two percent of the polls who ends up meddling and then goes on to New Hampshire and can go on from there. My predecessor, Gary Hart, was one of those people who you may remember, he came into Iowa prohibitively the, the underdog and uh, Walter Mondale was then the the former vice president, he was at 40%. Gary came in here, he got 14, I think, or 16%. And that was a shock and that was enough for him to go on and win New Hampshire. So um, one of the things that's very clear to me about Iowans is they are not, they are taking their time and they are not gonna make their judgment about this until the very last month. Now actually Rick Santorum used to finally just started complaining about that. Cause he said he'd be in a room and everyone would be nodding and good yeah. vibe and everything. So he'd be all excited. And then be over, and you talk to them, and they and they'd say, "Well, we need to see you a couple more times." Yeah. I mean, it is an unbelievable phenomenon. It is. Well, they're they know what they're doing. They don't have. There's no. They get nothing out of committing early. They can. Uh, it, it, it's wonderful. I mean, the number of people who have said I'm in their top four or five choices, there aren't enough presidential candidates to go around to be in people's top four or five choices, but. But I think in the end, what people will do is decide who they think is the best person to take on Donald Trump. And that's the right way to think about it. If there was one thing, uh, you were sort of asked this, but if there was one thing that the, the pre Michael Bennett presidential candidate now, six or months, whatever, after you started, that you wish you knew when you started, what would it be? I think that I wish that I had known that, I, that starting earlier would be a benefit. Um, you know, I, I couldn't start early because it turned out I had prostate cancer. I had to deal with that. But um, but I think that I'd say that's the one thing that I wish that I'd known. Uh, I, I, I'd say also that I'm worried about the um, uh, uh, dichotomy of, of what used to be early states like Iowa and New Hampshire that vetted the, the candidates. And, and, and this, now we've got sort of the National Democratic Party making decisions about who should be on the debate stage at a time that is really premature, you know, and people that have been on the debate stage because they came into the race here but are now, you know, polling where I am uh, or leaving the race, uh, it just doesn't make any it sense. It goes against the tradition of Iowa. It does. And people it, literally like, make up their mind. At the last week, month. Exactly. The right. Yeah. And, you know, if you're, if you're somebody who's from a purple state like I am or like, you know, the governor of Montana, Bullock is, um, uh, that can be challenging because you're not, you don't start out as a national figure the way other, other people do. But I'm not complaining, I'm just putting one foot in front of the other and I get to meet with people in Iowa and New Hampshire every week, which is great. All right, thank All right. you. Thank you. And I'll see you I'll see in you. caucus time. Great, well. see you then. I appreciate Thanks it. for saying hello. Thanks so much. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank you. Can I ask you one question before I get it? Do I get answered? I don't know. Well, no. The awesome, the high, high one. Yeah, I just love it. I mean, the other stuff's just cool. It's awesome. Yeah, that's nice.